I'm sure many of you went to a Catholic grade school and had religious women as your teachers. Today we honor St. Angela Merici, who in 1535 organized a group of single laywomen into the first religious order of women dedicated to education, the Ursulines. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and I'd like to share with you today a daily offering prayer that St. Angela wrote. I'm director of the Apostleship of Prayer, and we encourage people to make an offering of their entire day to God, thus following St. Paul's command in Romans chapter 12, verse 1, offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God. You can do this in your own words or by using one of many morning offering prayers. This is St. Angela's own offering prayer. As our Savior says, a good tree is not able to produce bad fruit. He says, a good tree, that is, a good heart, as well as a soul inflamed with charity, can do nothing but good and holy works. For this reason, St. Augustine said, love and do what you will, namely, possess love and charity and then do what you will. It is as if he had said, charity is not able to sin. My Savior, illumine the darkness of my heart and grant me grace rather to die than to offend your divine majesty any more. Guard, O Lord, my affections and my senses, that they may not stray nor lead me away from the light of your face, the satisfaction of every afflicted heart. I ask you, Lord, to receive all my self-will, that by the infection of sin is unable to distinguish good from evil. Receive, O Lord, all my thoughts, words, and deeds, interior and exterior, that I lay at the feet of your divine majesty. Although I am utterly unworthy, I beseech you to accept all my being.